Callum, welcome to Tramier Overs. Happy to get the deal sorted. Yeah, I am. It's come around very quickly, but I'm absolutely buzzing to get it over the line, yeah. And you know a few faces already from your time at Blackpool, Jay, yeah, Ian yeah. Dawes, um, so it must be nice to know a few familiar faces. Yeah, Dawes is the assistant. Um, he was at Blackpool with me last year, and then Jay as well, and I know the sort of character Jay is, and spoke highly of the club, so yeah, it's good to know the people before you come in. What was it that attracted you to make the move to Prenton Park? There's a few things. I mean, you know, the obvious reasons, of course, the size of the club, the fan base, that goes without saying, but I think... The ambition, and especially the way the season finished last year, I think for Tranmere, there's, you can really tell there's a fire in the sort of fans and the players sort of belly that they need to get back to where they really belong. Now that you're here, what are your aspirations and goals for next season? For the season coming up, aspirations to get playing, get get winning, get winning games. I mean, yeah, to the end of this, at the end, the goal at the end of the day is to get promoted with this club. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing. You had all kinds of experience, including international level experience. So that must be must be good to have on the on the belt. Yeah, I've got a little bit of international experience with Scotland a few a couple of years back, which I guess it always helps. There's little things which you can sort of help take on the belt, which works well for you. And obviously with Blackpool last season, so you know that what it takes to make it in the EFL and what the demands are. Yeah, of course, it's very different to when I was playing academy football a couple of years back. So. I, Blackpool's given me a taste of it in League One and now I'm ready here to hopefully come play more consistently and do a good job. And obviously our last game was against Blackpool. What did you think about the team you were facing that night? Well, I remember it very well because it was a big game for Tranmere because you could tell the way the players were fired up that it, the game really, really was important and meant a lot. And the thing which always stuck with me was at the end, you could see the players in the crowd, the sort of connection they had there. That it really felt like it was a massive win, which obviously was a bad loss for us on the night, but... You could sort of see that there was that togetherness there. That was my next question. You must have noticed the fans in the Varco and everything. Yeah. Absolute racket. <laughs> of course, it did an absolute racket. Maybe one of the loudest I saw it at Bloomfield Road last year, which is, is it's so much better when you're playing in front of a good crowd, a good supporters. Yeah, it's miles better. And have you spoke to the manager, Mike Jackson? Yeah, How we've had we've had a chat this morning. He was just talking about his values, what he wants from me, what he what he expects from his dressing room, the sort of togetherness he's expecting yeah that's that's what we talked about this morning I suppose that's an important factor the manager knowing what he wants from you and you knowing that vice versa yeah it's nice to feel wanted I think that's an important thing especially for most footballers to feel wanted in a team is big and it's what he's come in he's sort of told me so that's what we're going to work with just been speaking there with you before the interview as well about the pitch a massive improvement from when he was last year with Flanders. yeah I remember we came here last year had an absolute scrap on the game just because of the way the pitch was but it looks like they've spent a good bit of money on it and it's not looking as good as any other pitch in the league. And finally, I just bet you can't wait to get going now and get playing games. Yeah, I can't wait to get training, get playing. The season's going to come around so quickly, so a couple more friendlies and then straight into league football.